hey if you've got the theme customizer this is probably what you should be seeing and you should see theme customizer in your account already so there is one thing you should do the first thing you should do is probably to come to linked accounts and the reason why you want to do this is so that things like the unread message count can work you can work with the theme customizer without linking your agency but if, if you want to, to be able to have the on message count work, just link your agency, click here, and it's gonna pop up your agency right away, and then you select your agency, like in this case, box site. It's gonna link it back, and you'll be back here. So once that's done, you click on theme customizer. I've already enabled the service. If you don't enable the service, that's how it looks like. You just need to enable the service. And we've got a couple of options here the on red message count and if i go to my agency at this point i didn't link the the agency at all so you're not going to see the on red message count uh but that's the bubble that shows the number of messages that you've not read if i go back and i link my agency you're going to see it there before we even move forward this is something you should not forget to do click on get script right just copy the script here this is the js javascript and immediately you come to your jhl account you switch to the agency side. So you switch to the agency side, you go to settings, and then you come to company. You paste the JavaScript here. So you copy the dashboard CSS, and then you put it at the CSS section. And then you copy the login CSS, if you want to also customize the login, and then you put it right down after that. And then if you want to also customize like the loader CSS, you copy it, and then you paste it there. And then you are good to go. So. Once that's done, if you want the, cost, the, enable, the to enable the unread conversation count, just enable it. But it's not going to work if you didn't link your agency like in my case. Now, you can start directly with the logo per location. You just need to click on setup and you can see here I have two logos. What is the logo per location? Logo per location just permits you to put different logo in different locations. So in this case, for example, you can see that this default logo is box side. But if I come to this one, yep. So the default logo was box side, but if I come to this sub account, you see the logo is different. That's the need for that. So to do that, you just need to click on add location like here. So, and then you click on upload your logo. You select your logo. Let's say if I want to select this image, I don't know what it is about. Once you select the logo, it's going to tell you to select the part that you want to appear. And then you just need to select that part and click crop like this. And then you have it there that's not all you gotta come to your sub account and copy the location id and then you just enter it right here and save and boom there you have it but since i already have an id that is the same here i'm just going to delete it not to cause conflict so that should do as i was saying you just need to add it for the sub accounts that you want to have different logos we can keep going we have the dashboard customization I'm going to probably come there for uh, you know at the end let's go to lo uh, uh, login customization this is just a customization of your login page once you click on the login customization it presents you a page like this and with about five or four templates and then we are adding templates you know every day all you need to do is to choose a template so if i choose this one it's directly going to change the template to reflect whatever was on the template that i chose and if I change the template, it changes the template to go directly. And then I, and I can come in and change the logo image that's just behind here. So you can see a logo here. For now, it's just like a placeholder. You can change the logo image by putting the new link for the logo. Make sure that your link ends with either PNG, JPG, or something like that. So you want to make sure that it ends with an image and nothing extra. And you can also change the main page image. That's this main page and then background color. Do all those customization and it's directly going to affect on your go high level login page you don't need to do anything extra because you already put the script so next up we are going to go with the loader customization you know the loader, the loader customization is that thing that shows when go high level is loading so you might want to have something different you might want to have a different background image you just need come here put the background image then you realize something i'm going to copy this so you can just copy it and put like this and you realize that so you gotta replace this link it's just this link you gotta replace you see it shows url and something you just gotta replace this link and put it back here as a background image the same thing for the loading icon and 
by the time you're watching this video maybe we'll have changed it that you just need to put the link there but in case you still see it you still see this just make sure you replace that link and you're good to go and finally we're going to look at the dashboard customization which is the big thing you can see that the dashboard customization is pretty straightforward once you click on dashboard customization this is what it presents to you and you can see that is what is currently in the ghl account so first off you see a couple of templates we've got quite a lot you can choose whatever you feel comfortable with and i think at this moment i don't even know the template that was there but i just clicked like the second template at the moment and when you click on a template you can see that it gives like a different color you can customize these things to look the way you saw it works at first by changing all of these things to align with what you want and you can choose from all of these templates but a couple of things that i want you to see these things are perfectly replaceable like you can see this is normally contacts that has been changed to leads so you can just click on it if you want to change the name I want it to change but to contact no let me say phone book something like phone book if I wanted to change it to phone book and then I want to change the icon and I want to leave it visible because I could make anything here not visible so it's going to disappear and so if I do this all I need to do not forget to save when you save that it's going to show phone book so the next thing maybe you may want to have it under the dashboard I'm just going to carry it and put it right under the dashboard so I can change the placement of these things to be however I want it. The third thing is that I could also change the placement of custom links, custom menu links. So if I come and I want these, let me see if I can pick one menu link right here, form test now. Let's see this form test now. When I click on it, it gives me, forget about what is in there, but it gives me like a link. This custom link, I'm gonna copy it and come right here and then create it and they just give a name. The name that I give here is just to be able to recognize it this way. But I could give you the same name, form test now, what was there. And I'll put this link and I don't want to override the menu icon. So I'm just going to leave it. Or I could just choose, the, but it's not going to override what is there at the moment. And boom, that is that. It's called form test now. If I scroll down, I'm just going to share. If I scroll down, I'm going to have it here. But I want to have it as the first item. Form test now is now the first item. We are going to see it when I see the result. We will see the result of what we have done. Why that's happening, I'm just going to show you what we have done so far. So as you can see, when I refresh, the first thing is, you will see that the form, the, you, you saw that small lo loading screen or like that was from the loader customization. And then you see that the form test now is now up. If I click it, you see that it's going to give this thing. The form test now is now up. And then the contact has changed to phone book and it's just below the dashboard just the way we did it now you can do a lot of the things you can just play around with it and you can see a lot of the things that you can do with the theme customizer but one beautiful thing that i want you to see is the ability to add this button these buttons on the menu top menu here so let's say i want to add a new button and i'm going to call it sites so i want to add a new button and i want i want it to take me to sites I'm going to actually call it site. So I want it to show sites and the action. I don't know if there is site or funnel. I want it to take me to sites. And so the icon, I'm just going to put the, I'm just going to put any icon here and I'm going to increase the padding. So it just so it should look good. And then I'm going to leave the colors how they are. I'm going to leave it visible. And I want you to know if you open actions, for example, where the actions, where is it? The event. It can take you to a custom menu link that exists. You just need to copy the custom menu link and put it there. Not you, If you want to copy the custom menu link, you need to copy the custom menu link at the top here. So you click on the custom menu link, copy the top there. That's what you're going to put there. And it's going to take you there. It could open the onboarding tool. This is for people who use our onboarding tool that we have at the moment. If you are using JHL plugins and you don't know what it is about, just go to jhlplugins.com. you see all our other tools. It could open a pop-up. So you could put in such a way that you have a button there. It opens a pop-up. It could go to the dashboard, it could go to anywhere in the app, it could open an external link. External link could be a page out there and stuff like that. You could do any of these things, but for now, I chose it to do sites. And 
you could have all buttons that you want you could change anything here play around with it and you're going to see it and sure enough when you come you see that the button is there it looks beautiful you could customize it however you want i know the green doesn't play well with the blue but you could customize it you could give the paddings and the things here to make it beautiful but when you click on it and then i click on it now it takes me to the sites funnels and stuff like that so thank you so much for following go in there crack it play with it make your high level beautiful and you can check our other plugins at jhplugins.com and enjoy thank you